I'm back as I am every day. I'm vlogging every day for a year for Ellen, and I have very few videos left. I have uh, 15 to be exact. So Ellen, if you wanted to t contact me, now would be a prime time to do so. I had a horrible, horrible, scary dream about Ellen. In the dream, she was here in at the university. She was doing some promotional thing, and I was going up to her, and I was like, Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Not that annoying, but you know, I was trying to get her attention, and then she was like, walking away from me, like, hi, like, don't bother me, I'm working here. I was like, Ellen, please just listen to me for one sec. I wrote you every day for a year, and then I made you a letter every day for a year. Please, blah, blah, blah. Biggest fan, so dedicated. I watch your show. I do downstairs. I do everything I can. I, I'm really dedicated to you, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, listen, I can't talk right now. I'm gonna go now. Leave me alone. I was like, Ellen, love me. It was really breaking my heart. It was a realistic dream, too, because then she went on to say, listen, kid, I, I got your letters. I know who you are. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And she's like, no, okay? I got your letters. We're not interested. We don't want to hear from you anymore. We've been following this other guy. He has a really similar story, but he has this and this and this thing that went wrong in his life. So we're going to help him, and it's going to help us with our image to the media and to our audience and it's gonna increase audience loyalty. Nothing personal, it's just more of a two-way gain for us. And I was just, I was like heartbroken. I was absolutely heartbroken and I woke up and I was like, whoa, what did I do wrong? And then I kind of realized that it was just a dream, but it was so realistic because that could totally happen, you know? I'm not dying and I um, I don't need a, a new car. I mean, I could use a new car, but you know, there's no two-way gain for the Ellen Show and me. It would just be like them granting me a wish, you know, but they wouldn't get anything in return. So it was a realistic kind of dream, but it made me really, really upset. <laughs> that was really hard because Ellen was so rude and I've never seen or imagined that side of her, so I was like, what's going on? I'm just going to keep the image of Ellen that I have in my head and what is seen on TV and what everyone says she is. America's sweetheart, Angel DeGeneres. So here's hoping that's true, and I know it is. Ellen, or Ellen's people, whoever's watching this right now, I am deserving, and I think it would be a really good two-way gain because I would get something out of it and you would get something out of it too because everyone would see how great of a show and organization you are because you make stubborn crazy people's wishes come true <laughs> so let me know i'll be here and hopefully my dreams will be a little more positive as they usually are okay keep on smiling and dancing bye